What I suggest that people do is to get a book like this, Composition, Facts and Compositions About Food, answer a lot of your questions where you're going to be able to get your food. This is a very good book. I've had this book. It's worked for me for 50 years. So um, I recommend that people eat a variety of different foods, though. Don't limit yourself to a small amount of foods like there are vegans that do that, limit themselves to a small amount of food. Because they're getting enough calories, you could be running off reserves for five, five, six years, even longer. That was one of the problems uh, what pe what, that, that people ran into. There was a tremendous epidemiological study done about 35, 40 years ago that someday I'd like to talk about the people that think that you could just live on, um, you know, a plant-based diet with mostly fruit and what happened to this one specific family in upstate New York, which turned out to be a disaster after 10 to 15 years. Plus, uh, a woman by the name of Dee Robbins, uh, many, many years ago, ran into problems because they were eating a, a, a vegan diet. It was definitely done incorrectly. There was no two ways about it. And what happened, the, the, the woman actually died. She happened to be a, a beauty queen. So there's two sides to every story, and the truth is, you know, that you can live on a vegan diet. Okay, Fred, so the continuance on to this was is that we also need necessary fats. You did talk about the omega-3s, but what was talked about was the fat-soluble uh, nutrients that have come from meat, such as vitamin A, vitamin D, K2, and vitamin E, CoQ10, and heme iron, and basically said you won't be able to get that out of a plant-based um, foundation. Is uh, What's your comments on that? Well, it's not true. If you look, if you open this book here about all sorts of the vitamin A here, it's just Composition and facts about food here. Tremendous list of uh, foods where you can get vitamin A, and it, def it, it definitely works. So all you got to do is take a look at a book like this. Heme iron is the type of iron that comes from uh, animal protein, and uh, lots of vegetarians. When they go, I send a lot of people for to get their blood analyzed, and I've never seen anybody that's eating uh, a vegan diet correctly now, uh, correctly their iron levels are always uh, up, up at least in the lower normal range, which is normal because they're not eating the animal protein. You can't judge the normal ranges for a person that don't eat animal protein based on people eat a lot of animal protein, so that's misleading in itself. So uh, there isn't, uh, uh, as far as the uh, essential fatty acids, I mean, all you got to do is take a look at the, uh, um, you know, nuts and seeds and especially chia seeds, hemp seeds, and flax seeds. I, they, there's everything in there. And you don't have to, you know, my experience, there might be a problem with fish liver oils. Uh, uh, you don't really need the fish liver oils. I, I can't see putting my, some fish liver in a juice, juicer and trying to get the oils out of it. There's, you know, if somebody has to do that, they should just eat some fish. But you can get everything you need as far as the essential fatty acids um, uh, from nuts seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, those type of things are loaded. That's where I'm getting mine. That's where other people are, are getting theirs. And I, I believe in you should be getting plenty of them. I think it's a big mistake that a lot of people that are into uh, vegetarianism are not getting are not getting enough of their essential fatty acids from uh, because they're told not to use any oils, which could be a mistake because it's a it's a considered a processed food. Well, not cold pressed oils. I use them and I feel that they work very very well for me. And I use a little bit more in the winter because. Not only do they keep you, give you a lot of energy and a clarity of mind, but they also keep you very warm in cold weather. You don't need a lot of it either.